Mortal Kombat 2021 is an amazing action cluster and a semi-quiet and boring film. Now, this is a must-see movie. You've got to go see it. But there are a little bit of mixes, mixed reviews and stuff. So, first off, this movie starts off amazing action and amazing cinematography. And it just looks absolutely beautiful and absolutely amazing. And if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, you might really, you know, you're, you're going to be satisfied. And if you're kind of mixed on it, you're going to be mixed on it. And I'm not sure exactly how you're going to feel if you're new. Um, unfortunately, you may be a bit lost. As some people who are fans know the lore that this movie doesn't really explain. Now, as a fan, I love seeing some of my favorite characters come to life in this brutally gruesome live version. Now, they do have other Mortal Kombat movies, like the first one in Annihilation. Um, however, this one is more bloody and realistic as far as that is concerned. Now, as a fan, I love it, but as a critic, it's kind of uneven, and the director ultimately chose a path to lure in new audiences that I believe holds the film back. One of the things that the actual director chose is this movie introduces Ko Young, a new surrogate or audience vehicle into the world of Mortal Kombat. So you can feel like you're witnessing this the first time like he is. Now I really like the idea of where Cole comes from and I'm not going to spoil it. However Cole feels like a flat character like many other characters in this movie. Now the main issue with the film is the audience vehicle Cole. Especially when other films used Johnny Cage as this surrogate, like this Hollywood actor who doesn't know where he's going. He just got sent here by his agent. So he's seeing everything for the first time. But he had a better backstory and better lines uh, and just more personality altogether. While Cole kind of, he, he struggles like, the actor is amazing, but he just wasn't given enough um, to actually be a really likable character. Now, you got, like, Liu Kang, which was sidelined, like, the entire time. Sonya Blade was pretty cool. And Kano just absolutely stole the show. And then, of course, you have Sub-Zero and Scorpion. And, you know, they're... I guess the main faces of Mortal Kombat now like yeah they're the coolest they're my favorites but when you think Mortal Kombat you also think you know Jax and you think other characters like Johnny Cage um it's not always just Scorpion vs Sub-Zero although that is a really cool aspect to have now in this Mortal Kombat movie for some reason there's no tournament they say there's no rules and all this other stuff however if they're going to go this route it really kind of suffers when you're expecting this okay there's no restrictions no holds barred they can do whatever they want this is going to get crazy and they don't and they basically just end up having a mini tournament um that is that that could have been better now, Act 1 is really good and sets up lore and new lore for newer audiences. They don't explain everything, unfortunately, but I really enjoyed this part, and this is where a lot of the cinematography came in and really just blew me away at the beginning. Now, Act 3 feels like it's about 5 minutes long, and that's where you get all your action as your mini-tournament resides, and it's absolutely amazing. The problem comes in Act 2. So Act 2 is kind of boring and it's really quiet. And we'll talk about that quiet thing here in a second. But it's supposed to set up this like training montage like Rocky or something. And it just does not work out. 
as it's just feels like it drags on and on. If you cut that act two out completely, it, it would make the movie more enjoyable. I think the movie could be greater. It's just, it doesn't have much in it that really makes you want to watch it again. Now let's go ahead and talk, talk on that uh, quiet thing, right? So the music in this movie is somehow, well, awful, really. Um, it feels like a generic Hollywood music instead of the epic Mortal Kombat music that you relate Mortal Kombat to. The music only really picks up um, a f few minutes and that's towards the end. And you shouldn't be excited when the movie is ending. And that's really the only time you hear it. You do have music throughout the movie, but it's the same music you would see in, I don't know, any movie, um, really. And that kind of sucks, because even like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which is known for being really awful, at least got the music right. Especially in the fight scenes. Now, talking on the characters, the character Cole is not going to be anyone's favorite. No one's going to go out and say, Cole Young is my favorite Mortal Kombat character. It's just, he can't be. There's no real personality to him. Like I said, the actor is amazing. It's just, he wasn't given a lot. Not when his big moment lines that are supposed to perk up the team be we fight together and we split them up okay um every character in every movie ever said that right luckily the gore is amazing um the fights are great and honestly if they would have gotten other realms in on this too this could have been a 10 out of 10 this could have been an absolutely amazing movie. Um, I don't know why they don't get Nether Realms in it. And if you're going to watch this movie again, first off, watch it. You, it's a must watch. At least watch it one way, one time, all the way through a full movie. But if you're going to watch it again, you're probably only going to watch the fight scenes. And if you do want to watch the entire movie again, instead of watching the two hours... You might probably just watch Act 1 setting it up and then Act 3. Like, you might skip the entire Temple uh, temple Act 2. Like, it's just... It doesn't seem very worth it, right? And that is the big issue I have with the movie. Is... How do you make a big chunk of your movie boring? When the movie itself is Mortal Kombat. I don't... Like, I don't see how that's possible. However, the stuff that feels like Mortal Kombat is absolutely perfect, almost. Um, there are some things that some fans are going to get annoyed at. But, ultimately, it does satisfy. And I really hope that they do have sequels. I think I read somewhere that it said up to four sequels if this movie does good. And I hope it does. It'll be really cool. Especially if they come back and they go through our feedback and they talk about some of the stuff that and they fix some of the stuff that we have issues with and might make it a tournament there's no reason to say no tournament and then end up doing a tournament at the end anyway not when they didn't raise the stakes in any way or make it that dramatic or I guess like the world is on your shoulders. So to talk about our ratings. We're going to go ahead and rate the other movies too. So the original Mortal Kombat. Is probably going to be near. An 8 out of 10. And that's just because the movie gets better over time. Like it's just a great movie. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That's probably around a 2 out of 10. To be honest. Except it's a 2 out of 10 that you're going to love to watch again. And you're going to enjoy and have fun. One of those movies that it's so bad it's good. You just you get some alcohol and you put the movie on and you enjoy it. This movie, it's 
just a pretty good movie, I guess. And yeah, um, if they make a sequel, we can hope that could be better. But honestly, if it becomes another Annihilation, I'd be alright with that too. I just want more, more Mortal Kombat, especially the characters we haven't gotten yet, like Johnny Cage, who is rumored, or I guess, uh, what's the word for it? It's hinted at at the end of the movie. Uh, that we may see Johnny Cage. Which I hope we do. Because that would be really cool. So what do I give this movie? Uh, Well, it's a very average movie. It's a really good movie in a lot of good parts. And it's a boring movie in a big chunk. So, does that mean it's a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10? Well... Usually that would put it at a 5 out of 10. But I actually don't mind it that badly. Like, because the boring parts, they're really boring. But, I mean, I don't necessarily hate, hate it, you know. So, that doesn't really drop too many points for me. Now, this is still an average movie, slightly above average movie, so it's between a 5 and a 6. Now, I'm going to absolutely watch it again, and I'm going to watch the other stuff again. That's just how it's going to be. But as far as the rating, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. I really liked it. It was really good in a lot of good parts. So 6 out of 10 is where I'm going to be. It had potential. They should get Nether Realms on it. If they do make a sequel, they should get Nether Realms to at least contribute a little bit. Like, I don't know. They could go buy the actual good music. Like, just get the Mortal Kombat music to put in Mortal Kombat. And stop using this generic Hollywood stuff. Like, that's really the big issue. Like, if if the music was better, and not just that generic, like, drum beats and stuff, it would have been a lot better. Like, in the boring parts, wouldn't have been as boring. Because it's not that the parts, the boring parts are boring, right? It's that the boring parts are quiet. You don't want to sit in a room with like your 60 inch TV or whatever and your Mortal Kombat playing in 4K and they're sitting down talking and that's it yeah that's not really what's what you're expecting right and that is the big thing this the music I think if you would have, even some music that's like a bit, I guess, aggressive in those boring parts, or hell, whimsical. Now, there's one part where it starts snowing, you know? How awesome would it have been if it would have been like this whimsical, like Christmas, like sound just utterly fade into like a Doom Eternal Mortal Kombat like aggressive noise it would have been epic hope you guys enjoyed hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all later